Hello, my name is David Hall from Xylem. I'm just going to take hopefully a few minutes to explain all about the portable IDS meter, the accessories, the wireless accessories that go with these, um, and hopefully make it easy and simple for you to put this thing together when you get it in a box. So you can see here we have the uh, meter and the accessories that go with it, so the, the, the docking station, the wireless accessories and the cable that connects them. So I'm just going to unpack these and hopefully come back to you in a few moments. So now we've unpacked everything, it's a, it's a lot smaller obviously because there's, there's no boxes. First thing we need to do is, is take the meter. This meter um, takes rechargeable batteries, so I've already put them in the back just to ensure that we've obviously given it enough time to charge. Uh, you get a charger, plug that in once you put the rechargeable batteries in, um, then leave it for overnight, eight hours, something along those lines to fully recharge. Um, it does also come with a, a rubber boot. It, uh, this is to give it some extra protection. The boot sits in here, gives it uh, a lot better protection from, from rough use that it's likely to get in the field. So the, the meter is ready to use now. We then have uh, the sending device. So these are the little devices that plug into the top of the probe. Uh, these are for sending the signal, the results from the probe to the meter. We've got three of these in this case. And we also have the charging bases for these. So obviously at the end of the day, they can then be plugged in and recharged. So I'm just gonna set these up, um, show you what to do, and then we'll come back. So I've connected those two. These devices go in, they lock in, little uh, connection there, make sure that it's nice and tight. These things lock together, so they go in a chain, and that can then be wall mounted. It comes with the brackets and everything necessary to do that. They can then go on the wall, wherever you want, along with the probe, which we'll do in a minute. And uh, that plugs into a socket leave these to charge again overnight before you start the experiments. At the moment we have three probes plugged into the bench meter here. The bench meter mimics the portable meter. So these are actually connected via wires currently. You can see on the screen we've got uh, dissolved oxygen pH, two pH readings. What we're going to do now is disconnect the pH electrode here and then plug it into the portable meter. So to do that, I'm just going to take this probe here. There's a small connection here. This pulls up. That removes the pH electrode. The, the reading disappears from the bench meter now. So it knows that we've unplugged this probe and we're now going to plug it into the portable meter. So if we get the portable device, which we did earlier, get the cable. Again, go through the routine of plugging this device into the top of this, push it in, make a nice waterproof connection. So we've done that, we then plug that into the back of this meter. Again, it can only go in one way. When switch the meter on, and we get the reading on the screen. So very simple, very straightforward pH and temperature, just connected, nothing else, nothing else required. We obviously need to go through the calibration routine to, for pH in particular to check that, but there was nothing else other than put the batteries, connect the probe, and away you go. So now we have the meter, which is switched on. As you can see, it's saying connect probe there. We have the probe, we have the receiving device, and we have the sending device. So the sending device needs to be plugged into the top of the probe. It only goes in one way, so there's no danger of, uh, of connecting it incorrectly. <clears throat> that connection is now waterproof if it drops in the water or uh, gets splashes over it. You can see that it's flashing green. It's, uh, it's now trying to connect to the device here. If we then plug this into the back of the meter, any of the ports in the back of the meter, if you have more than one, 
this uh, receiving device can, can uh, receive signal from up to three devices for this meter. <clears throat> so it's, it's now searching. You can see it's searching for a device. It's come up with one, same as it would, you would do if you were pairing your phone in the car. Um, you just press enter, up arrow key, enter, and then escape. So it's now looking for the electrode remotely. You can now see it's come up with a reading. So these are now paired. So we can put this meter, can take this, this probe, <clears throat> take it anywhere within 10 meter range of the, of the hand unit, and it'll send a reading. <clears throat> what we do is there's a button on here. If we press this, you hear a beep. That beep is the reading being sent from the probe to the meter, and that's now stored in the memory of the meter. What I've now done is to take two more probes. In this case, we've got uh, turbidity and also conductivity, and we've now connected those to this meter as well. So we have three readings on the screen now, um, pH, conductivity, and turbidity. Um, the colors uh, on the screen here correspond to the colors on the, uh, on the top of the probe. So, for example, we have pH there, as you can see, matches the color. And then if we go and look at conductivity, again, just so you, <clears throat> you don't get confused too much with the different probes when they're not connected by wires. The icons here on the left-hand part of the screen uh, show that the uh, sending device, the little orange units, are fully charged and that the meter down here uh, does need charging. So, very simple, uh, very easy, and these, these probes can be used simultaneously. So, people, three different people could use these probes in different parts of the laboratory as long as these remain within 10 meters of the meter itself, all sending data simultaneously to the meter. If you do decide that you want to use this out in the field, um, we have the option of a, a reel with a long length of cable. Uh, we've attached the turbidity probe to the long length of cable and then the meter to this device here so we can extend the, uh, the probe into the water uh, and the reading is constantly displayed on here. We do do SONs, so uh, single devices which you can be connected to so that you can have several probes connected to one device um, up to 100 meter depth which are weighted obviously because of the length of the cable and the, the buoyancy that creates. So it's very simple, you can have these meters completely interchangeable between the probes that are used in the laboratory, connected to the probes used then singly in the field or even then to a sonde. So it's a very cost effective way of doing it.